I'm here. Third time's the charm. I'm not on Wi-Fi right now. My Wi-Fi is still not working, but I'm just trying to find the actual live streams so that I can um, I can find it. Yeah, sorry guys. Sorry that it took so long to get going, but you know, shit, shit happens, and apparently. My Wi-Fi is just, like, not happy with me today. It's not having it. So, but I'm finding no lag. Do we have lag? Let's find out if we have lag or not. Let's see. Naughty, naughty Wi-Fi. Are we lagging or is this working? I feel like I'm seeing lag because of my Wi-Fi, but I've got this. All right, I think we're doing good. I'm getting lag from my Wi-Fi when I'm looking at it, but the phone I'm actually streaming with is my data. So if my data charges are ginormous this month, that's why. Anyway, here we go. Okay, I'm trying to readjust because now everything's all freaking strange. Because I've been... Okay, let's move that out of the way. Hi, everybody! We made it! All right, let's see if I can get this readjusted so that everything is in the right spot. All right, I think we're working. Am I going to Winter Planner Land, Katie? No, probably not. Um, it's a really difficult time of the year for me to um, travel in that, that kind of space, just because of everything that's going on. All right, we're good. I'm gonna move this forward a little bit. How is my wrist? My wrist is doing good. See, look, it's healing nice. All right, well, hopefully the lag is not too bad. We'll see, like I said, I'm having trouble seeing, but we're just gonna have to go with it and see what happens. Anyway. Welcome to my live plan with me. I have a mimosa. It's the first time I've had alcohol in a few weeks because of the Zoloft that I'm on, but now I can have a little bit, and so we're gonna see how it works. I might go all completely wacky today. I'm stamping. Now, some of you guys are like, oh, stamping, oh, that's nice, and other of you guys have been here for my stamping, and other of you guys have been here for my stamping, and my stamping is not exactly professional. I actually suck ass at stamping. It is not something I'm good at. It is something that frustrates me to no end. And so, of course, I'm going to do it live while I'm drinking, just to be entertaining. All right? So that's what's going to be happening. Happening. Now, I came up with this for this weekend because this is the only weekend on a Sunday where I have the time to do this stream. Every other Sunday this month, every other weekend this month is pretty jam-packed. Unfortunately, this is what my week looks like. This is all of the things that I have happening this week. So I need my planner to not look like shit, but I'm stamping and I've committed to stamping. So this is going to be one of those like I can't purposefully fuck my planner up, but at the same time, it's not going to be pretty. So we're going to have to strike a delicate balance here. A delicate, delicate balance because this is my life this week. My life has imploded this week, basically. Um, so the stamps I've got, I've got other stamps that I've collected over the years in my journey of not stamping. Somehow I've managed to pick up a whole bunch of stamps. But I decided, the reason I got inspired to do this was because of the Amy Tangerine and Erin Condren collab. I, I ordered these, I bought these myself. And I thought, why not? Why not give this a try? I love Amy Tangerine. I like Erin Condren stuff. So this seems like an interesting idea. And since it's Valentine's Day week, and I, don't, I you know, could make it look like some kind of Valentine's Day shit. But I have other stamps as well. I'm not going to keep it only to these stamps. I do have other stamps from various places. And I, again, it's one of those I have no idea why I have so many of them because I don't like stamping. But I do have them. And I've got like some Studio L2E stamps. I've got some Chrissy Ann Designs stamps with my lettering, which amuses me because I can do my own lettering. And then I'm going to bring this oldie and goodie. If you guys were around for one of my, if you were around for one of my, uh, one of my stamping previously live plan with me's, you will recognize the wheat stamps. 
And I will be using these in honor of the fact that wheat seems to be haunting me on Instagram right now. So there will be wheat. There, like that movie, There Will Be Blood. There will be wheat on this planner. I will be weeding it. Oh, hey, Kristen. I see a whole bunch of you guys in here. I'm sorry if I missed any of your comments. I'm, I've been so distracted by trying to get this live stream to work and drinking a mimosa. That I just don't know what's happening right now. Children of the wheat, like children of the corn. Yeah, yeah, wheat is the new emoji. Wheat is the new eggplant. That's not true. I don't find anything sexual about wheat. Um, but hi, everybody. Hi. So let's get started. I'm sorry if there's still lag, and I hope my data plan forgives me. I have no idea what live streaming for two hours on my data plan is going to do. We'll find out. But my, my Wi-Fi is just raw bullshit right now. So the things we do for love and wheat. Mm. I want to wheat you up. <laughs> Are you and Mr. Sindri going to go to podiatry appointments together? Podiatry? Like our feet? I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, wheat heart instead of sweetheart. Oh, you guys. Oh, my God. This is going in a very... Hey, Deborah, I missed you earlier in the patron hangout. Can wheat be in this month's lettering? Perhaps. Oh, what time is it for me? It is 2.48 p.m. Pacific time. Wheat we do for love. Oh, yes, my feet health. Yes, Matt. Um, I guess. Well, I, I don't know. I need to get him going to his, like, regular doctor's appointments before we add in the podiatry. Okay, let's. So I showed you my week. My wheat. <laughs> this is my week. This is all of the things. This is. Not even all of the things. This is most of the things or some of the things. Um, but we need to pick some colors. And I'm thinking because it's Valentine's Day, we should pick some Valentine's Day colors. So I've got some of these things here. Let's look at them. And I've got some of the Distress Inks as well. So I'm thinking we're going to pick from some of these. Like there's the Raspberry Pi. And where's the Rosebud? Rosebud and Blossom Bud. I like marijuana. <laughs> uh, we'll go with Old Rose. It's my stripper name. And Vintage Pink. It's going to be a pink as fuck spread, and I am okay with that. All right. So we've got some pinks and some reds. Maybe some purples. Hydrangea. And Sweet Pea. And maybe that gray. Where is that tin can? That's worn jeans. We'll go with that. And tin can. That's some colors to start with. We can always come back to more colors later. Eggplant. We do need eggplant purple. I don't think I have an eggplant purple on this set, but I might have one in my distress inks. Give me a second. Again, I have all these things and I never use them. There's this hot pink here and this like lighter pink. Um, I think I have a, a dark purple here somewhere. Let's see. Abandoned coral. No, not those ones. It's amazing how much stuff you accumulate when you don't even fucking use it. Like, this is that whole use your shit right here. Do as I say, not as I do. Hold on. Hold, please. Got, here we go. Seedless preserves. That's the closest thing to eggplant purple that we got. So we'll go with that one. All right. And then we'll grab some black as well in case we need it. All right. I am going to regret this. There's no might about it, Jessica. I'm already, I'm already, it's okay, Summer. I don't use my stamps enough to care if I destroy them or not. All right. Sowing my wild wheat. All right, so we've got all these inks, various colors. I've got other colors if I need them, but for now we're just gonna stick with this. I'm gonna scooch this off to the side because I don't need this right in my way. Okay, here we go. Oh, I should get my baby wipes out too, right? Yes, we should. My baby wipes are definitely needed. Baby wipes and get one of my towels in case I need that as well. Okay, I think I've got everything I need. My socks are coming out. Nina, that is 
both sad and amazing that you even said that. Okay, here we go. Oh, you mean they aren't made for stamping so you'll get blotchy bad impressions? Well, that's going to happen regardless, so we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. It's a lot going on this week. Well, we need to do some washi taping because that's what I, first, I usually do. So one of these sets has this situation, and I feel like these could make an interesting like pattern across the top for washi tape. I'm thinking maybe this one, the hexagons. I don't understand. I don't understand the like hype around hexagons, but that could be. Oh, we should do the woven wheat. Yes, let's do the woven wheat, the shredded wheat pattern. Let's do that. That'll be like beginning beginning wheat. The actual wheat is not going on the top. The actual wheat's gonna need to go somewhere on here because it needs a it needs a front and center. Here we go. So I need a I need a block. Here's my block. All right. So we're gonna let's see if I can make this kind of straight. So we're gonna be doing it like this, kind of just like laying it down like that. So save the hexagons for another stamp plan with me in spring or summer. All right. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna take a big gulp of my mimosa because I think I need this. Oh my God. Okay. Use a piece of paper to not get the pattern below the line. That's a good idea, Jen. Thank you. You guys know more stuff than I do. Much more. All right. We'll do this. All right. Put that there. So I think I'm going to try and layer some colors onto this woven shredded wheat. I'm going to take some old rows. It's been 85 years. And then we'll take some young rose, some vintage pink. There we go. All right. You guys ready? We're about to lay it down. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'm so worried. Okay. Mm -hmm. Press release. Oh, it didn't work. One more. Yay! There's something there. Okay. <laughs> All right, other side. Now it needs to like go like this. So we're gonna do that again. All right, oh, here we go. We'll add some more pink and some more other pink. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Here we go, one more time. It's time with feeling. Why does that not work? There we go. All right, we got we got some patterns on here. To start, press harder and longer. That is inappropriate. <laughs> okay, I'm cleaning. This is not cleaning off at all. I know this is not the right way to clean your stamps. I know there, I'm sure there are better ways to clean your stamps, but I don't live that life. This is not the life I live. This really shouldn't be the life I live at all, but <laughs> you should have a stamp expert. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry your son was in the ER, Rebecca. Okay, close enough. That's clean as it's gonna get. Those are you guys who are like actual stampers are going to be just like, oh, she is so terrible to her possessions. Well, I use them like three times a year, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, that's as clean as that's going to get for right now. But I need to have something along the bottom here too. Should I use the same one or should I do a different one? I actually kind of want to do it like this, except I can't flip it. I guess I could flip it. Hold on, let's, let's, let's do this. Hold, please. That's my new saying. Okay. Mm 
Okay, so I'm gonna put this back on, and this time we're gonna do the same colors. I just cleaned my stamp, and I'm gonna re-ink it because that's the way this is gonna go. All right. God damn it. Ow. Well, that kind of worked. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. Let's do it the other way. I'm just gonna go straight for the stomping it because this is obviously, so I'm gonna have to flip it and do it like this. It's not gonna fit, damn it. Hold on. Moving an inked stamp, there's no problem with that whatsoever. Okay, here we go. <laughs> there we go, that time it worked, woohoo! <laughs> Is it bleeding through? Just a little bit. <laughs> That's how I solve every problem in this house. I just smack it. That's what I did with my router. It's probably why it's not working right now. All right. I need a hammer. Last night I was making chicken with arugula and I had to get my like pounder out and the thing that we have to like tenderize meat or like flatten chicken or whatever, it's like brass knuckles, but for your chicken. So you put it on your fingers and you just go like punch, punch, punch. It was very um, cathartic. Let's just put it that way. It was, it was very cathartic. All right. That's as clean as that's gonna get. We're gonna put that right here. It's proof that I used it. Okay. That's a start. We got some washi tape down. Okay. Um, let's see. Now, normally I divide up my boxes. That sounds like the seventh circle of hell right now. I like to try and divide those up into blood pressure and meal planning and weather. So I think... I'm trying to think, what am I gonna do here? What am I gonna do? How am I gonna make this work? None of this works. None of these things are gonna help me. I guess I could take one of these and stamp it across the middle and then write, and I think I have a Studio L2E stamp that says meals or something along those lines. I think my husband and my kid are getting home. So there, you can hear them in the background. This is my wheat. We're gonna set that right there. Hey, I'm streaming. Oh, sorry. It's okay. It's Not really. <laughs> All right. Somewhere in here I've got meal plans of some sort. Maybe this one? No, that one doesn't have it. Um, I feel like I have some. Oh, here we go. This one has meals on it. Ah, it says dinner. Okay, so there's my little dinner stamp. So I can put down this little banner here and then put the dinner stamp inside of it and then that'll be how I divide those boxes up. I think that'll work. All right. Jess, I tried restarting the router and it didn't really work. So I'm, I'm on my data right now. Cause what do you mean it didn't really work? Like it's the internet is here, but it's super laggy. Loki is very excited that Jesse is home. I brought chicken. He brought chicken. That's why. It seems pretty snappy to me. I'm looking at it right here and I'm having trouble with lagging, so. Try disconnecting. And I, I can't do that because I'm in the middle of my stream. And there's not much I can do to help you. Well, I just turned on Wi-Fi. We'll see if this works. So I just turned my Wi-Fi on. Let's find out if it gets super heinous or not. We'll, we'll find out. You guys let me know. All right. Anyway. 
All right, so I've got this little banner and I'm gonna just start stamping it down. Oh, there go the stamps. I'm gonna start stamping it down the middle here. Let's use, I wanna use the dinner with a dark color, so maybe we'll use old rose some more. Maybe we'll alternate old rose and some other color. How about that, how about that? I think that sounds good, all right? Loki is very excited that Jesse is home. He has chicken. I mean, Loki's got the chicken rubs. Okay, that worked, sort of. All right, next cut, next one. We're gonna alternate these colors so that it looks pretty. Boom! Oh, those are not even. That's okay, though. Even is not required in this house. All right, I'll put you here. All right, so that's old rose. So I'll pick a different color for the next set of that. All right, let's see here. Um, old rose with a dash of eggplant. How about um, sweet pea? It's like a purple, so we'll go with that. It's not dark eggplant purple, but it's a start. Sweet pea. I like that Maroon 5 song, which they didn't sing at the Super Bowl. Sweet kiwi, your juice is running down my chin. Such a dirty song. Okay, we're doing this, you guys. It looks okay. It looks okay. There we go. They're somewhat even, as even as they're gonna be. There we go. Woohoo! Yes. All right. Now for the real problem. We're going to have to put the dinner stamp in and have it line up. And that that could be interesting. Oh shit, my stamps went flying. Hold on. Oh, the ground is so far away. Okay, here we go. Okay, dinner. We'll get through this, and then I'm taking a big old, actually I lied, I'm gonna take a big old gulp of my mimosa now. Okay, I've seen the scented washi. I don't understand it. I'm not really sure. How pungent is the smell? Is it like, Scratch and sniff stickers where it's like you have to really get your nose like all up in its business to smell it. Or is it stronger than that? I don't understand. So I'm gonna use Blossom Red to put the dinner in all of these. It's like a magenta. I'm starting to talk in cursive. Oh, you mean like this? <laughs> this is one of my favorite things of all time. Uh, one of my patrons Allison gave it to me. Dinner. Sweet kiwi. Am I gonna get demonetized? Maybe. I didn't put that song in the lettering challenge either, but I guess kiwi is not really a long name to write, so that wouldn't be. But I'm still pissed at myself that I forgot to put Fuck Her Gently by Tenacious D. One of the best songs about sex of all time and I forgot it and I'm so mad at myself. That song's great. That song is amazing. Once I get through this, I'm gonna feel accomplished. All right. Sweet, look at that. Hell, ah! Can't lose that, that's like one of the few stamps I'm actually de help decent at using. You can tell because it's so like gross looking. Make it a bonus song for people who don't like the other ones? I'm down with that. All right, where's that set of stamps? <laughs> what, Jess? It's your list for February, so you've already started. It's already done, yeah. 
All right, so we got that done and it's looking okay. I feel triumphant. All right. So I'm gonna write in my dinner plans for the first half of the week because I've already got them. Do you think I should go with like a hot pink or like a red pen this week instead of black to just complete the circle? Or should I go with black? What say you in the comments? Let me know. While you, while you tell me, I'm gonna drink some of my, my mimosa and maybe get another mimosa. I'm waiting. I'll let you guys answer while I make another mimosa. Thank you for getting the crock pot down for me. All right, I got a mimosa. Let's see what the comments say. Makes me want to sing the song from Les Mis. Black, the dark of ages past. Red, the blood of angry men. We need a poll. <laughs> I wish I had like a red black. <coughs> that would be awesome. I don't know if I have that or not though. I actually like the idea of purple because I think the comment that Hillary made about how if I do pink, it's gonna blend in with all the pink, but I don't have a dark, dark purple. So maybe if I use like, like this purple, like a really, like, where's my, my thing? Like a purple, like that's a dark enough purple. So it's not as dark as black, but it's darker than all the pinks I'm using. Cause even this purple, this seedless, whatever, it's not the same. I may not even wind up using that one because it's really dark. So I think maybe purple is a good idea. I think, I think we're going to go with purple. I think purple is not the combination of red and black, but it's close enough. So we're going to go with purple for, for this spread. All right. So while we're doing that, I'm going to write in my meal plans for the week, well, at least for uh, Monday through Thursday, because I actually have them made. And tomorrow night we are going out. We're going to just get takeout because as you're going to see when I start putting in my week, Loki, holy shit, dude. Kitty. Insect loves food. <laughs> um, there's no way in hell I'm making dinner tomorrow night. There is too much happening in this household. Like it is, it is, it is not a thing that is gonna be happening. And then on Tuesday we're doing cream cheese chicken taquitos, which is one of Katie's favorites. You guys have made these before. Some of you I know have gone and got that recipe that I put on Pinterest. Let me know in the comments because we think it is like amazing in this house. Super white girl taquitos, but they are so goddamn good. They are. They are like the they're least. Both of the things you just they are made. the least authentic Mexican food ever, and they are so good. Cream cheese chicken taquitos. How bad are you bleeding? Ah, it's not that bad. Okay. Um, oh, I'm glad you like them, Christina. Okay, uh, Wednesday, we're gonna be doing a cauliflower day, cauliflower mac and cheese, which a lot of you have recommended to me for our cauliflower for the week. It's a long word to write. Now I'm just gonna abbreviate cheese, not because I'm using fake cheese, I'll use real cheese, but I just was losing lettering chicken right there, so I'm writing that instead. Um, yeah, it is an Aaron Condor pen, it's one of the dual tip markers. Uh, yeah, cauliflower fried rice is on my list to try this month. And then we're gonna do tacos on Thursday. I know it's Taco Tuesday, but I have quartet rehearsal on Tuesday, so. 
tacos are not easy to do when I'm not home until 7.30. But the um, cream cheese taquitos are a crock pot food, so. Or at least they start out that way. And so the majority of the cooking happens before, well, like I'm not home or whatever. Tacos. All right, so that's our meal plan so far for the week. All right. Um, shorten it to call you next time. Yeah, that might be a good idea. I will update you on how it is. Okay. Okay, so we've gotten that far. Now, I think because there's so many date, there's like these sticker, these stamps, and then I also have the Chrissy Ann Designs ones. I feel like I should cover up these days and due date covers, which seems like a lot of stamping, but I feel like it's a good idea. The one problem is I have to move my camera to get to my sticker paper. So I apologize for everything moving around right now, but that's just how I'm gonna have to get to it. See? Now, a sane person somebody who has not been drinking and is not like losing their crap would stamp on the paper and then apply it to the planner. But I consider that to be cheating. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put the sticker paper on the planner and then stamp on the planner. And for those of you who think that is a ridiculous thing to do to myself, you're, li you're likely right. And I'm not listening to you. I do what I want. And what I want is to sticker and then stamp. So that's what I'm gonna do. And you can't stop me. And you can't make me live your life, mom. You're not my mom. You're not my real mom. So put that there. And this is gonna look ridiculous and I don't care. I'm doing what I want. I'm making this for me. See? Isn't that, like, nobody can tell that there's sticker paper there. Nobody can tell. I'm never, you're right, Emily. You are right. You nailed it. I am never about the easier. I am about the doing it the way I want to, even if it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> eh, I'm not going to use the white. That's too much work. And by the time I'm done with this, I don't think I'm going to be worried about things shining through. <sighs> this is um, from Staples, I'm pretty sure. It's like their store brand sticker paper. I went and bought it the other day because I needed some. I had, I used to have a shit ton of sticker paper. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe I used it. Although you'd think I'd remember using it. I don't remember using it. But... pretty nice. I mean, I'm not an expert. This is not like magical unicorn paper or whatever the hell it is that sticker shop people have. I'm not that fancy. I go and I buy store-bought off, off the rack sticker paper. That's what I use. I use store brand sticker paper. <laughs> I use whiteout tape for a lot of things, but not for stamping. I feel like if I tried to stamp on top of whiteout tape, that would be more like I'm willing to go to certain hot mess lengths. And then there's a spot, there's just a place where I'm not willing to go. And I feel like trying to stamp on top of whiteout is a bridge too far, even for me. Loki. Loki, what's going on, kitty? He's strongly he is tripping balls. Did he get into the catnip? Everywhere. Okay, we're good. Almost there, you guys. So close to be done with the tediousness.
see Loki gets the, we call it the chicken rubs whenever there's like chicken in the crock pot all day he gets really like oh yeah of course there's chicken Cream in the crock cheese pot. taquitos are his favorite yeah but thing those aren't in the, but those aren't in the in the crock pot right now it's oh. chicken and gravy but it's also yeah. another chicken all day in the crock pot recipe which means that Loki is smelling chicken cooking and he expects it to be for him and so then what he does is he gets all like rubby on you for lack of a better word he just rubs all over you and like meows at you getting all just like goofy and aroused for his chicken but he doesn't enthusiastic he doesn't get any of it like that's the thing he thinks by putting on this kind of a show he's going to get some of that chicken but he doesn't get any of the chicken so it's all for show and it doesn't actually do him any good the chicken rubs do not produce the results he's looking for i'm just saying but they do happen. All right. Hi, Nicole. Bye, Nicole. Okay. Anyway, we got those down. Now it's time to start putting some dates on here. Dates and numbers. Dates and numbers. Okay. I need a bigger stamping block. It's amazing how many stamping supplies one accumulates when they don't stamp. Okay. So we're going to use this set. I'm going to go ahead and do the dates first. Like the numbers, so I can remember what day is what. Tomorrow's my sister's birthday. So I gotta remember to call her and wish her a happy birthday. All right, so I'm gonna alternate the colors the same as I did before. So it was old rose. One. And then to 11, 12, 13. I hope this is the right date. Please confirm for me these are the right dates because otherwise I'm going to be not happy with myself. Is that right? Did I do that right? 13. Yes, I did that right. Okay. Yes, thank you. I was worried. That would be something that would happen to me. 13. Well, those are really far apart, whatever. Okay, 14, 15. Shit, I forgot how I did that, damn it. Okay, give me a second. Sixteen. There we go. That's what I wanted. <coughs> you okay? Can yeah. you breathe? I just inhaled mac and cheese. Okay. I'm glad you're alive. Is there really any figure in this? Yes. <laughs> okay. What well, I got a question in the comments. Oh, nice, Kelly. Um. I've got questions in the comments and I'm totally missing them. I'm sorry, you guys. It's hard for me to pay attention when I'm stamping because I get so stressed out about it. Uh, what do I use to hold my phone over my planner? It's one of those like selfie stick holders, like the thing that holds your phone, like the, the clip screwed into a handle that's in a microphone arm. Like my setup for plan with me's and for lives is the same, except for lives I'm using my phone and for I had to double press that and it didn't look very good. Um, Yeah, it's the same setup for phone for my camera as it is for my plan with me. It's just an, it's a different camera in it, and then I have it plugged in so it doesn't run out of batteries, because Here's that you. happens. Oh, thank you. Jesse took a picture, so there you go. That's what it looks like. Inception. <laughs> Woo! There you go. We already had Inception earlier when the Wi-Fi was going wacky. My voice like doubled back on itself and started playing out of my phone. It was trippy. It was like Revolution Number Nine by the Beatles. <clears throat> um, 15. I'm looking for my dates here. Sorry if I missed other questions, though. I'm, I've been, I'm 
It's hard for me to do two things at once and this is difficult for me. Um, what's a gooseneck? I don't know, what did you mean by that, Jesse? <laughs> I didn't say gooseneck, but a gooseneck is a, it would screw onto the mic stand and it's like flexible, kind of holds its spot. Think about like the lamp that I used to have next to my side of the bed. So oh, okay. Kinda... I hope you guys to think about the lamp that Jesse used to have on his side of the bed. <laughs> well, anyway. now you know what it means at least. <laughs> okay, there we go. We got dates on here. Do I have any plans for Valentine's Day? Uh, Wednesday? Thursday. Thursday. Um, according to my list, no. <laughs> no, we do not have plans. Normally, we do not have, we would not have the kids this coming up weekend, but we do. Um, so, because Katie, like, Katie's dad's going out of town and uh, there's like kid activities that they need to be in town for. So, um, so I don't think we're going to try and plan to do anything. We'll maybe try and go on a date at some point, but not necessarily reconnect. Give it a second. Am I back? I think I'm back. I'm back. Am I back? Woohoo! I'm back. Sorry. My internet does not agree today. My internet does not feel like I should be prioritizing streaming with you fine people and stamping. My internet is like, city, you know stamping is a bad idea. Why are you doing it? I am going to, I'm going to make you hate your life. It's okay, don't worry. Don't worry, internet. You are not the boss of me. Not the boss of me. This takes, you know what the other reason I don't like stamping? This takes for fucking ever. This takes so long. <laughs> and I am not this patient. <laughs> my water, my Wi-Fi is not feeling weedy well right now. <laughs> My, my wife Fi hasn't eaten its Wheaties. Yeah, these stamps, these day stamps are really cute. I'm actually really liking how these are turning out. They're not hard to stamp either. Like they stamp pretty, pretty uh, evenly without me having to like slam them with the iron fist. So um, that's nice. But this is taking for goddamn ever. Like people who do stamping for like the majority of their shit I got pour one out for them. I'm going to pour it right down my throat for them right now. Cheers to the stampers. They are more patient than I am. My Wi-Fi is gluten intolerant. <laughs> Here, give me a second. My data for a minute instead of my Wi-Fi to see if that helps. For a hot minute. What am I drinking? I am having a mimosa. It was made with, you know, that was woven wheat. You thought it was Edward Scissorhands? Um, I'm having a mimosa. It's made with, um, with Osti that I got at Trader Joe's and Trader Joe's orange juice. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> Not sponsored by Aaron Condren stamps. Not sponsored by whatever the fuck these are. Not sponsored by Trader Joe's. Not sponsored. Although I will take a sponsor for Shitty Stampers Anonymous. Although I'm not anonymous. So. <laughs> Technically they did used to sponsor. Well, okay, Tammy. I wouldn't say they sponsored me. They, I guess they sponsored my life but i worked for them so wasn't like they were sending me products to try without making me you know pay for them so <laughs> all right those dates came out really pretty i actually really like that i wish these were stickers <laughs> all right 
Okay, so you got the dates in. Now I'm gonna be putting the weather in as well. And I actually have weather stamps somewhere. I don't know where they are, but I do have weather stamps. So we are gonna go stamp the weather right about meow. That's gonna happen. But first, we have to find the weather stamps and that may take longer than expected. That's not them. That's not them. That's not them. <laughs> That's not them either. That's not them. They're like a tiny little thing. They may be lost forever. I would not be surprised if they were lost forever. They're from Tiny Stamps Big Plans and she doesn't sell physical stamps anymore. So they're old as dirt. They're old from when I thought I was gonna stamp, which is old, 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 old bros. The fuck are they? I have all these rando stamps that I don't know what the hell they are, but I can't find the ones I do know I have. This is some raw bullshit is what this is. Raw bullshit. Raw. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. I've got another drawer. We're not done yet. This is not over. It's not over until the stamp lady sings. It's not over until the wheat lady sings. The wheat lady is not singing currently. Hold on. All right. Make stickers with the day stamp. See, Rachel, there you are talking sense. We can't have any of that here. <laughs> That's not weather. Are those weather? The fuck are those? Those are not weather, but those are a um, shit fire. I lost that one. God damn it. Is that it? Nope, not it. Not it. Not it. Not it. Not it. How, how do I have so many fucking stamps? Wait, I think they're in here. Woohoo! Oh, I found my eggplant stamp too. Okay, we're on it. We're, we're back on track here. We figured this shit out. I found my eggplant stamp. So that that's good, because we need that. You have a rose angry orchard in my heart. Those are yummy, my dude. Those are so good. Okay, here's the little tiny weather stamps. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Old we. <laughs> Is raw bullshit better or worse than cooked bullshit? I think raw bullshit is worse, <laughs> personally. The crip, oh, sorry, Tammy. The chicken cream cheese crock pot recipe. Um, I don't have the link on me right now, but if you go to my Pinterest, which is under my name or under Llama Letters, um, there's a category called things I want to make. In there is the cream cheese chicken taquitos. Um, do I prefer the Angry Orchard or the Crispin Rosé? Uh, I prefer the Angry Orchard. I think the Crispin Rosé tastes like dirty perfume. I normally prefer, I prefer the Crispin Heart regular hard cider, but I prefer the Angry Orchard Rosé, which tastes like strawberries and magic. The Crispin Rosé tastes like dirty old expired perfume. Have I made any plans for my honeymoon? That is not, that has not happened yet. No, no, that has not. No, we have not made those plans, unfortunately. Okay. Here's a cloud. I need this little tiny cloud for my little tiny weather. And I'm gonna use the dark color again because I think that these will stand out better if they're using the, um, the uh, what is it called? The blossom bud. Okay, right there, there's my little cloud. Okay, do I have another cloudy day or are they all rainy? Every other day this week is rainy. Good to know. Night, Angie. Night, April. Have we gotten rain yet? Not today, but we did have rain yesterday. We had a lot of rain yesterday. It was going like... Um, it was going sideways. Like, what do they say in Forrest Gump? The sideways rain? Yeah, that's what was going on. All right, we need rain. I think... Yeah, there we go. Rain... So tiny. These are like so easily usable, losable. And if I drop one of these, I think the last time I got these out, I may not have even had a cat yet. <laughs> if I drop these, Loki might try and eat them. That's not a good thing. All right, Victoria, you would like to have my thoughts on the bullet journal method book. Can't bring yourself to buy it since no one you follow has given their opinion on it. Oh, I am totally down with giving my opinion. Oh, thank you, Rox, for the super chat. Oh, it's so nice of you. Thank you so much. 
Um, <clears throat> all right, so the bullet journal method book, the one by Ryder Carroll, the creator of the bullet journal system. Here are my thoughts on it. Uh, I found it to have help. Oh, I'm sorry, Deb. That's awful. Um, there's my rain. I'm going to write in my weather while I'm doing that. I'll answer this question. So I found parts of the bullet journal method book to be helpful. Now I'm going to preface that by saying that I think the parts I found the most helpful were because I was in the middle of that like crisis where I was really having trouble figuring out what I wanted out of my bullet journal. And so that was kind of the space I was in. If you feel comfortable with what you're doing, I don't know if the book is going to be helpful for you or not. But if you feel like you're struggling with what you're doing or your system is just not working for you, it may actually be helpful for you. I'm just writing in the temperatures really quick. Um, I will say a lot of the productivity stuff in there, it's stuff you've heard before, most likely, if you've read any other productivity book. It's nothing revolutionary. And there was a lot of stuff in the book that I didn't, that didn't apply to me either because I know it doesn't work for me or because it was like a little more beginner than maybe I needed. But the stuff I did get out of it was really helpful. So I wouldn't say that it's like a must read, but I don't think that it was, you know, useless either, if that makes sense. I hope that that's a useful answer for you. Yeah, uh, Monchelle, that's exactly what I did. I did skip around because I had stuff I didn't need to read. Ugh. All right, there's the weather. Where are we at now? I gotta start putting some shit on here. Let's look at this so far. This is actually looking pretty decent, I will be honest. I'm struggling with it, but I'm, I'm, it's not terrible. All right. Okay, I'm gonna take my sweater off. You guys, I have, a, I have a tank top on underneath, but I'm super hot. The mimosa is kicking in and I'm sweaty as fuck. So I'm gonna take this off and I'm doing a, I'm doing a strip tease off camera, hashtag demonetized. Oh, all right. Any bleeding, that's on oh, my arm is itchy, let's look. Um, actually, look at that. The pen. I can't tell. There's too much shit on this side. So I'm not sure. Once we start writing on this side, we'll have an idea of whether or not it's bleeding or not. So the inks I'm using are the Prima. I think they're called like chalk edgers or something like that. Prima chalk edgers. That's what these things are. Okay. My arm is so itchy. Oh my God. Hey, Romy. How is my upper arm scar? It's itchy. <laughs> Here, you guys want to see? There's my scar right there. All right, are any of my lives still monetized? Yeah, actually they are. I don't wanna be bringing down the YouTube uh, the YouTube algorithm on my head, but yes, they are. Okay, uh, where are we at? Okay, so we gotta get to this week. Monday sucks for me. I have so many things. I have, normally I give myself two lines on the notepad to write out what I need for each day for my planner. This Monday has one, two, three, four, five lines. My Monday. I'm basically tomorrow and plan as you go. I'm not going to do anything in my planner because I'm going to be filling it up right now. So we got to get this figured out. I have two patron things. I have to call the city. I have to take my son's trumpet to the shop and I have a doctor's appointment. My kid has a rehearsal. Um, I'm going live tomorrow to show some new Aaron Condren stuff that I can't show until tomorrow. My husband has a meeting that night and we have a meeting at the kid's school as well. That's all on Monday. All of that's tomorrow. So this is going to be some bullshit is what this is. Let's, let's be prepared for some bullshit. Good night, Nanda. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's figure out this bullshit. Sorry, I'm itching my arm. It's so itchy. Okay. Let's figure this out. Let's look at some of these stamps. Let's see if there's anything here that can help. I don't think there's gonna be much in the way of decoration on this fucking page. I think it's gonna be like all functional, functional. Let's see here. Well, I can use one of these strips to write call city across the top here, like right there. 
this one. And then I can put the appointment and the meeting right here because those are the things I'm going to and my live needs to go. God, how am I going to fit this all on here? My arm's so itchy. Ah! Um, night, Kellyanne. Felicia, yeah, I could totally do that. Um, let me make sure. I don't think I have my chat open all the way. Okay. There we go. In case I wind up getting a troll. I haven't seen one yet, though. Bullet points might be a good idea, Betsy. I could do bullet points like here for uh, the patron things, the trumpet. So I could do the patron things, the trumpet, and calling the city on bullet points. And then I could do individual icons for my doctor's appointment, the meeting, and the live. And then have the uh, Jesse being out and Katie rehearsal maybe across the top. This is hard. Guys, this is hard. Right first stamp after. Um, let's start with these guys. Let's start with these little squares. Let's start with these because I know this is going to work for me. Okay. Get the squares. We'll do some... Uh, do some rose bud. And we'll line those up right. Make sure I'm thin. You're gonna see my nice fat head in the there we go. Okay, so there is the bullet points. Troll? Uh-oh. Sorry. I'm going, I'm going. Oh, we are not going to have any of that shit on this channel. None of this troll. None of that. I got it. I got him. We won't be having any of that bullshit on here. Thank you very much. Okay. Got my bullet points. I'm trying to stamp here. I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> Shut up, Jesse. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to write in. So we got All right, so there's the things I have to check off. So I'm gonna cross these off so I don't lose my place. All right, so those are those are taken care of. So now I have um, the live, the meeting, Katie's rehearsal, Jesse's meeting, and my doctor's appointments. Five more things I have to fit on here. So we'll have to fit them right here. It might just be another bullet point kind of kind of day. That might actually be the best way to go about this because I don't think. So maybe I'll do some circle bullet points here. And we'll do five of those too. All right, let's do that. Let's just do circle bullet points. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right. Oh, Catherine, I'm glad you got to meet her. Marg is great. And her stickers are awesome. And she is super friendly. And great to be around. I just love people. I love people in general. All right, so we have my doctor's appointment. I'm trying to write these in order. I'm going to put Katie's rehearsal up on the top, I think. And then my live. So I'm going to be going live tomorrow around 4 p.m. So if you guys are around 4 p.m. Pacific time. So if you're around, 
check it out. And then my meeting is This is room. Oh, Jesse's meeting. All right, so there's all those meetings. This is Monday. I told you, this is what my Monday is going to look like. I have no room for fucking anything else. Four time, my time. 4 p.m. night time. My time, it's actually almost 4 p.m. right now here. It's 3.43, so in almost 24 hours, I will be going live here on this channel. Thereabouts. Unless a crisis happens, which is entirely possible on a Monday. And if that's the case, watch the community tab here on YouTube and I will, I will update you if anything changes. Oh, my glasses just fell off. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. Let's see. Let's go with purple for this. This color is sweet pea. I'm going to put it right here. That didn't stay. Shit fire. Damn it. That so did not work. What in the ha the fucking fuck? Let's add another color. Let's do some different colors here. Let's go with let's go with blah, raspberry pie, which is not actually open. I've never even used this color before. So first time for everything. Um, tomorrow I've got some products to show and answer questions about for a new Erin Condren launch that I can't show until tomorrow. So it's fun. It's a fun launch, but, um, but I'm going to do it similar to how I did with the folios where you guys can ask questions and ask me to like, I mean, I don't think you're going to want me to set them on fire the way that, there we go. Close enough. Anyway. Okay, so you got that. It's all smeary looking, but whatever. The, uh... So this is Katie. That didn't really fit, but that's okay. Okay, Monday is done. <laughs> Monday is done. Tuesday. I have to set the crock pot. Katie has rehearsal. I have a phone call at nine. I have quartet rehearsal. And then I blocked in that I need to do some filming that day, like besides plan as you go. And some I need to set at least an hour aside to do some church shit. So Tuesday is also fairly loaded. So I'm gonna drink some mimosa. <clears throat> All right. Tuesday. Let's see what we got here. I want to use this for church shit. This little flag. Because I really like it. And I've been wanting to use it. But I don't know where to... I haven't been able to figure out where I was going to use it. So we're going to use it now. I'm going to use this little flag for church shit. And we're going to try that purple again. Because that didn't fucking work. I'll do it right here in the, there we go. A little bit smeary, but I'm not worried about it. All right. Thanks, Lindsay. You could do all the things you need to, yes. Hey, Jenny. All right, so I'm gonna put church shit. Here we go. This is where, every time I say church shit, I usually wind up getting a angry direct message from somebody who feels like I'm not, I got, okay, so normally I don't want to like highlight people who I feel are trolling, but there was somebody who told me that by cussing, I give Christians a bad name. Well, first of all, I'm not a Christian. <laughs> Second of all, to assume that somebody has, has activities that they do on a regular basis at their church, they must be a Christian, is narrow, it's narrow-minded and short-sighted. 
And finally, I don't think cussing gives anybody a bad name unless they're using their words to be an asshole to somebody. And me saying church shit because I got a lot of church bullshit to take care of is not me being mean to anybody. It's me being honest. There we go. Right, Jenny. One's vocabulary does not define one's relationship with God. That's another great thing to say. All right, I need to find a crockpot sticker. I'm pretty, a stamp. I'm pretty sure I have one. Here we go. Back to my stamp pile. Back to my stamp pile. I feel like I've got some sort of a crockpot in one of these. I just accumulate these for different reasons. Like they just show up, whether like in like a kit or something, or they've just sort of shown up in my life. I guess I'll use that little meal one right there. That'll work. And I don't know where I get them. I don't know where they come from. And I just have a shit ton of them from all different places. Does that make me a hoarder? Maybe. Is that good, the spiked seltzer? I've been looking at that and wondering if it was tasty or not. I wasn't sure, because it seemed like one of those things that sounds good, but could actually wind up being nasty as fuck. So I've been wary of it. I'm gonna do vintage rose for this. It's just like a little meal thing. It's the, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have enough energy to hunt down a crock pot. So I'm gonna put that right here. I gotta do most of this either either get my day set up completely or put in some preemptive stamping because when I do my plan as you go this week, I the last thing I'm gonna wanna do is pull my stamps out again. So I'm just, I'm letting you know where my head is at. Crock pot, what time does I say? It's at 2 p.m. for dinner that night. Okay. Some of the spiked seltzers are good. Others taste like hot vomit. <laughs> Gross. Okay, so I have a phone call. I have quartet rehearsal. And Katie has rehearsal. I'm going to do another. I think I'm just going to stick those banners across the top of all of these for Katie's rehearsal. Because Katie has rehearsal almost every single night this week. So we're just going to do that. We're just going to get this going. Because what color did I use? I think I used Blossom Bud. No, I didn't. I used Rosebud. No, I didn't. I used raspberry. <laughs> I got this. Okay. So we're going to just stamp all the days that there's rehearsal. Because the musical actually premieres in like another week, I think. A week and a half. Something like that. So they're, they got a lot of work to do to get it good to go. Bye, Nina. Flipping around, doing more stuff. Every day except for Sunday, Katie has rehearsal. And the kids have no school on Friday, so I need to make sure to put that in here too. And they have a dentist appointment on Friday. It's a fucking week. All right. Let's clean that off. Nice, Rebecca. Good luck. I'll have my fingers crossed for you. Okay. So I'm just going to write this in. For those of you who are wondering, Katie's musical, the musical that their school is doing is A Tale of Two Cities, which I did not even know was a musical until they started doing this. Time to 
time is that up? Nine to five. All right, musical is written in. What is my personal creative outlet? Uh, I don't really have one right now. <laughs> Almost everything I do, I incorporate somehow into this, whether it's planners or lettering or painting or whatever. I wanna take up knitting. That's been on my mind to take up. I just haven't gotten around to figuring it out yet. I'm drinking my, I'm gonna finish my mimosa and then we're gonna keep going. But so far, it's coming out okay. We gotta get the wheat on here though. We need the wheat. We need the wheat. I'm just finishing up my mimosa really quick. I'm wondering where the wheat should go. Cause right now I need like all of the space. I'm thinking maybe here, maybe into Sunday. Saturday, Saturday's not that bad so far. Saturday I need to do my sheets. I have Katie's rehearsal, Jesse, or we have a hangout, my patrons and I, the my, you know, certain level, my patrons have our hangout on Saturday night and they have to wash the sheets, but there's not much. And then Sunday, there's some church stuff and Jesse may have band practice, but not too much. Like our weekend has stuff, but it doesn't have like hell of stuff. So there may be room for some wheat. Maybe I should just do that now and just say, fuck it. I don't know. We're not ready for wheat yet. We're going to be thinking about wheat. We're thinking. We are, we are musing about wheat. We are pondering the wheat field. Yeah, Deb, that's something I was, Deborah, I was thinking about that too. I'm not abandoning the wheat, Monchelle. The meat, I am not deserting the wheat. I will not give up on the wheat. Oh. I'm gonna go get another mimosa. I'm doing okay here. Maybe because it's Aussie and it's delicious. Here we go. I got my mimosa. Make the wheat super light and right over. No, Brandon, I did not say weed. I said wheat. <laughs> okay, let's move forward. We're gonna get to the wheat. We still have Tuesday. I'm not done with Tuesday yet. I'm getting distracted. I still have to put in, I have quartet rehearsal and I have a phone call. I may not fit in that I have to film as well. Do I have a music stamp? I feel like that was one of the stamps I didn't really have and it kind of bummed me out. Which sucks because I need, I have, I like, listen, I mean, music's a big part of our lives. I require music everything to get through my life. I require music, music stuff. I do, I need it. I'm desperate for music things. Because we do so much with music in our family. And I'm sounding very, like, whiny. <laughs> Why don't we have any music stamps? Why don't we have any music stamps? Why don't we have any music stamps? That's where I'm at right now. I'm in this, I'm in this whiny, fuck you stamps kind of place right now. I don't pay attention to me and my whining. It's a sad, sad place that I'm in. Have, oh, I do have one singular music note stamp. One singular music note. That's all I have. One music note. One. I've got a music note. That's not it. That's my weather. What the fuck? Yes, I have a fuck you stamp. I've got many stamps. I've got... <sighs> All right, here we go. Here's my singular music note. And I'm just going to have to remember to, that I have this because I'm going to need it later this week. It's so tiny, though. It is so tiny. <laughs> okay. Take this. Stamp on it. I got five on it. There's my music note that looks like a little foot. That doesn't even look like a music note at this point. That's okay. That's okay, we're not gonna judge here. 
Every stamp has to live its own personal journey. It has to find its own search. It's free and responsible search for truth and meaning. Even if it is hard to tell that it's a music note. Okay, you got that in. Tiny music note. Am I going to see us when it comes out? I have no idea. You got weed on it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else is on Thursday? A phone call. Or Tuesday. A phone call at 9 a.m. Okay. Fuck, that was the wrong day. Why did nobody tell me that was the wrong day? This is supposed to be on Tuesday. Damn it. Thank you, Karen. Karen noticed. Okay. Ah. Uh. I think I got the sticker paper out. You guys aren't what? <laughs> because I was pondering the week. I had no, I had no brain left. <laughs> okay then, got that covered up. It's cool. God, let's try this again. Where'd my little note go? I lost it. I lost a lot of things along the way. I've lost many things, many things along the way. Can I put the note in a small flag? That actually might be better because this is so miniature. Is there a small flag? What do we got? Got some down here that's small. These are all really big. I don't think any of these are gonna serve that kind of a purpose. I need something smaller. Where's my studio? L2E stamps. I feel like there's a bunch of like cute ones in there. That's too small. Jesse, what? Just let the cats get like up in your face. <laughs> He's got things to say to you and he doesn't appreciate you trying to block him out. This is not helping me. Okay. Back into this box. I do want that out because I think I want that computer stamp. I think I want that. I think I got it. I think I got it. How can I do a thing like that? How can I do? No, I'll never make it. I'll never make it. He doesn't like the way I look. He doesn't like the way I dance. Name that musical. If you don't know what that musical is, then we can't be friends. He doesn't like the way I. Blonde girl in the front, that's much better, but you still got too much tension. Relax. Do, 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 do. Nobody's getting it. Actually, there's a lag, so I don't know if anybody. It's not West Side Story. All right. Yes, it's a chorus line. Y'all got it. Woohoo! You get all the points. What points? I don't know. I don't know who's giving out points. I don't know what the prize is. So I'm gonna put this down and then I'm going to come back to it. Oh, that almost just did it on Wednesday again. Well, that would have sucked. So I'm gonna put a darker color on top of this with the music note once it's dry. That's my master plan. Do, 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 do. Wheat side story. <laughs> Where the fuck did that thing go that had this on it? I just put it all away and I need that to put this away. <laughs> you just quoted it, Deb? Is that why I started singing it, Deborah? Where'd it go? Where is it? Oh, you can relax. Yes, okay, I saw it. Ha. Have I watched Rent yet? No. And this is a bone of contention in our house right now, right, Jesse? Katie and I were talking about it on the way home, as a matter of fact. What did you say? <clears throat> I think I decided I was just going to put it on, and you would have no choice but to be around it or, you know, go somewhere else. That's rude. That's some rude bullshit, is what that is. I would just like some closure on the subject. See, I don't want point. closure. I'm not ready to watch my favorite musical get wrecked. I'm not here for that. I'm not ready for it. I'm not in a frame of mind. There we go. There's my music note on the little flag on the right day. Hell yes. 
We are making progress. I have not watched it yet because I am worried. I have heard mixed reviews and I'm worried and I'm not, I'm not ready for my heart to be broken. I'm just, I'm not feeling that level of commitment to my life right now and to other people's lives. You thought it was actually good? I wonder if I have a phone on any of these. I feel like this is just an exercise in futility is what this is. Do, 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 do. Um, I mean, that's a phone. That's way bigger than I need. Yeah, I, Jen, I can do the, uh, the dance from, from a chorus line, Hello Well. My sisters and I were fucking obsessed with it. So, we, uh, big fans of a chorus line. I know the movie's not great compared to the show, but we never got to see the show, so we, we do we do what we can with what we have. Maybe I need a coffee. Do I have a coffee? Yeah, here we go, I'm gonna do that. I got this. Okay, so I've got this butt first coffee stamp, and I'm gonna put that because then I'm gonna have my phone call after that, and since I'll need coffee before I have my phone call, that's, that's how we're gonna make this work. first coffee. Sorry, Mari. Yeah, we just, there was a multiple problems. Multiple problems. Lori Rent is a musical from the 90s that is a retelling of um, La Boheme, the opera, but the main characters are starving artists in New York, many of whom have AIDS. All right, that sounds awesome, Deb. Okay, so we got that and I'm gonna write in my phone call. So I had that on that morning and my quartet. I'm gonna leave Tuesday alone other than that. There may be, there's other things that need to go on there but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Let's go to Wednesday. We'll get the eggplant in for hump. And then the only other thing I have on Wednesday is a patron live at 3 p.m. So I need to put some things in here to be ready for when it comes time during plan as you go because, um, because I'm not gonna stamp during plan as you go this rest of this week. I'm just telling you right now, I won't get the stamps out. I'm not gonna be in the mood for that. So I think I'll put this computer on there because I will likely need to work, but I'm not gonna write anything in it because I might decide I wanna film or I might decide I need to do email stuff or I might decide I need to do podcast stuff. I'll know when I get there. So I'll just have this to know that this is one of the only days I can actually sit down and get work done. So we're gonna do that. That will be a thing that happens. That computer always comes out nice. I remember this from when I was trying to stamp more often. Because I did used to try and stamp on the regular in my planner until I realized I sucked at it. And this was one of those stamps that I really liked. I think it came from a Planner Society kit like two, three years ago, something like that. All right, so that's there. So I'm gonna leave that blank so that I have it for when I, when I plan this week. Yeah, almost like randomly putting full boxes, except I'm trying to, uh, bye Jen. I'm trying to, uh, trying to just leave myself some, some idea of what I need to be doing. Okay, so we got the patron live. I have a YouTube stamp, where to go? Back into the, my pile. It was in here, I saw it, and I knew I was gonna need it and I didn't grab it. And that was foolish of me. There we go, right there. That's the one I want. Yes, Lori, it's about, it's actually not about paying your rent. It's about not paying your rent. <laughs> okay. I'll try this purple. I haven't used this in a while. This uh, sweet pea. It's okay, Pamela. I 
I have no idea what's happening in the chat right now. Let me just be perfectly honest with you. I'm on a roll here. What time did I say that was? 3 p.m. And I'm gonna leave the rest of this blank and I might, ha I might have to get the stamps back out. I may have to get the, oh, I need to put the eggplant on here too. Eggplant time. Bye, Monchel. I hope you feel better. Hump day, yeah, it's going on here. Woo, there we go. Here's my little eggplant. Let me use. We'll do the only time we're going to use this dark color of ink. We'll use this one, this, uh, See the seedless grapes or whatever it is, seedless preserves. Right there. Damn it! It doesn't even look like an eggplant anymore. That looks like a broken eggplant. Uh, my P.O. box, I need to add it into the uh, the comments of this here. I don't know what is exactly off the top of my head here. Let me move my description over. I'm gonna grab my, my just generic plan as you go description and put it in the comments really or in the description box really quick while I'm in here because I haven't done that yet okay I just saved my description so hopefully it is updated eventually when you refresh but yeah um bye tammy i hope you feel better a lot of everybody's feeling crummy today hump day i'm gonna write that in here hump day and i'll leave wednesday alone otherwise i think thursday we're moving along here we got this going we're gonna get this done thursday i have another phone call at 9 a.m so i'm gonna use that coffee sticker again and then I want to record my podcast that day. I know I don't have a podcast stamp. So um, I gotta find something else for that. Maybe I'll use the computer work for, I'll do the computer again for that. Because that's also a day I might actually get some work done. Because Friday, I'm not gonna be able to get a lot of work done because the kids are home from school. Well, Katie will be at rehearsal. So I'm gonna put that here, I think, maybe. I'll put my phone call somewhere else. No, I'll put it right there. Um, Katie will be at rehearsal all day on Friday, but I will, but RJ will be, um, home with me and it's hard to get a lot of work done when the kids are home all day. So we will see what happens. So I'll put that there for working on, <coughs> to, on Thursday. And then where's that coffee sticker? Where'd it go? Coffee sticker is my new favorite thing because it's how I feel about life. How do people do this every week? I've got no idea, dude. I mean, there are people who, I'm assuming, like anything else, if you stamp all the time, you probably get faster at it and like better at it. And so it doesn't, this shit's not as big of a deal as it is for me right now, trying to figure my crap out. Like, I'm guessing that A, if you, uh, I almost did that upside down. A, if you stamp all the time, you probably have a better idea of what your stamp inventory is. Like, I don't have a very good idea at all of what my stamp inventory is. So there's time that is lost every single time I need a stamp figuring out what stamp to use. Whereas I'm assuming if somebody stamps all the time, they probably know what stamps they have. Like for me with stickers, I usually know what stickers um, I'm gonna want to use and I know kind of where they are. I'm not totally know where they are. Like my shit's pretty unorganized, but like I generally know where they are. 
And so it's a lot faster to find the things I need than it is if I, um, if I was left to my own devices. The other thing I need to do on Thursday's meal plan, and I know I have a sticker for that somewhere, a stamp for that. Fuck! That's not it. Maybe I don't have a meal plan sticker. Maybe I don't. Maybe I'm full of crap. Entirely possible. Shopping list? No, that's not it. Nope. Not there. Well, balls. Well, balls. I don't have a meal plan sticker. Well, fuck that shit. All right. Stamp. Yes, you guys, stamp. Ugh. Maybe I'll use this thing again. We'll just do this. We'll put a little flag down and we'll call it even. It's a hot fucking mess right here. I will tell you. Oh, I should have used the one for my crock pot. I saw that, didn't see that before I did this. But I guess what I could do is I could layer it. Where did that one go? Did I put it away? I probably put it away. No, I didn't. It's right here. Woohoo! Okay. We're gonna layer. And I need to keep this out because there's a laundry thing in there too, and I'm gonna need that on Saturday. So are you okay, Jess? Yeah. Did the cat yeah, get you? Just attacked my headphones. Are they were they looking at him funny? I'm gonna put this right here like this. And then I will write meal plan next to it. How about that? We're layering. I have ascended to intermediate stamp level. I have ascended. There we go. Meal plan. All right. Okay, I'm pulling out my socks. My socks are falling off. All right. Thursday is done. Friday. Okay, so one of the things I saw in this pile of stamps was a, like, hello to the weekend or something. Hello weekend. I'm going to use that on Friday because the kids have no school on Friday. And so as a reminder that there's no school on Friday, I'm going to use this hello weekend sticker. They also have no school on Monday, but that's next week. And at that point, my stamps are going to be a bloody memory, and I'm okay with that. Okay. And I'm gonna put like a darker kind of right here on the bottom. All right, hello weekend. Hello. Yeah, it worked. Woohoo! Oh, there's a super chat. Thank you, Tatiana. I, you know, that's one of the things I try and do. Not all of these live plan with me. Sometimes I'm not stressing myself out because I just can't. And probably this is a week I shouldn't have done something like this, but I said I was going to, and I'm fucking living up to my, my promise that I made to you. Damn it. I made, I'm living up to my promise. Okay. You want any recommendations on ink? I'm not the person to ask. These things, these little chalk edgers have been working out okay for me, but I'm not, I'm not anywhere near an expert at this. Okay. So we already have Katie's rehearsal here and we have this hello weekend. The kids have a doctor's appointment and I need to go to the grocery store, which is probably the big thing I'm gonna do. I wonder if there's a shopping thing on here. Oh damn, this little stamp set did not do me a solid there. Uh, did not do me a solid. Hmm. Go back into the box of tricks here. Whoops, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit it with my face. I apologize. I'm hitting my shit everywhere. We we'll have a laundry sticker there. There we go. I need to do laundry on Friday too. I'm not going to do my sheets until Saturday, but I will need to do laundry on 
on Friday. I know I've got something in here somewhere. I know I do! This is some bullshit. Raw bullshit. There's 11 million menu stickers. That's not what I want. I want menu. I want shopping. Here we go. Here's a shopping sticker. We we'll use that with one of these little flags. Yes. Oh, fuck, I touched it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it sucks. I'm so, I'm sorry. I sound like I'm just bitching my mind out, but like, dude, you understand, I hope. I hope you see where I'm coming from with all this. Let's put that there. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be looking at this and be like, how many mimosas did you have, dude? How many? Lots. That's the answer to the question. Lots. Lots and lots and lots. Shopping. There we go. Is the list of names at the end of my video people on my Patreon? Yes, it's a certain level of my Patreon. All right, that's done, sort of. Okay, dentist appointment. Oh God, I'm not even gonna pretend like I have a dentist. I have those once more glove stamps, so I wonder if one of them just has like a terrible face. Like, oh, I've got one that looks like it's just like mad at me. That would be a good dentist one, I think. Where'd they go? Ah, here we go. My little munchkin faces. Let's use one of those. I haven't had any munchkins on here yet because I don't have any stickers, but I do have once more with those stamps that I got in like an anniversary box or something. We'll do the side eye one. We'll do the side eye munchkin and that will be for the dentist appointment. See, we have to make our dentist appointments like six months in advance because otherwise, um, otherwise the, uh, our dentist just like fills up their appointments super fast. So it's like, you better hope that you don't have anything come up and you have to reschedule because if you have to reschedule, it's going to have to happen in like three months. But we like them. So, all right, so dentist, grocery shopping, and then I need to do laundry on Friday. I had that laundry sticker, I got it out where to go. little plastic sheets. What the fuck is happening? I feel like I'm using the same colors over and over. I guess because I am. <laughs> and then I'll add a little bit of this red to it as well to kind of make it interesting. Laundry. Yeah. All right. I hope you guys have fun in Chicago. I hope it's not too cold. I'd love to go to that at some point. It's just not been timed great for me anytime recently. So, but I think it sounds like a lot of fun. I heard they do a great job. So I hope you have a lot of fun if you guys are going to that. Hi. They're not going back in. Go back in, go back in, there we go, okay. Saturday, like I said, Saturday is fairly light. 
get a wash sheets, I got a hangout. And that's it, and I'm leaving it that way. I'm leaving it that way for the sake of my sanity. We gotta put the wheat on here. The wheat is coming, don't worry, there will be wheat. I need some more wheat puns. Give me some wheat puns in the comments if you guys have got some wheat puns. Jesse, do you have any wheat puns? I mean, come on, you think you're so smart. The cat doesn't have any wheat puns. There's a little laundry stamp. Pain is for the wheat. <laughs> Come on, Jess. Use your brain. Huh? Use your big brain. For what? For a wheat pun. Were you not listening to me? No, not at all. <laughs> Aw, oh, Christina, thank you for the super chat. No, it's not weed plants. I swear, I need to enunciate the tea more. We do live in California, but those are not the plans we're making. <laughs> Where's that little uh, fucking YouTube thing? Because I'm just going to use that as like a patron hangout. Actually, no, I should. I need something different. I need like a fuck. None of these things are what I want. Balls in my mouth. I cannot find what I want. I can't find it. Can't find it. Damn it. Damn it. I guess I'll use a munchkin. Every day of the wheat. What are you weeding for? Beating their wheat? <laughs> wheat dreams are made of these. Jess, you need to be joining in on this. So I feel like you would have good good additions to this awesome thing that's happening. I'm gonna use this happy munchkin for hanging out with my patrons because hanging out with my patrons makes me happy. That is not an advertisement for my Patreon. That's just the fact that I like hanging out with my patrons because they're fucking rad. And, and some of them are in here right now, the ones that we hang out with on a regular basis. And they know that they're rad. Wheat are the champions. Jesse needs more Wheaties to make dad level wheat puns. Oh, he has his headphones in. That's why. He's not fucking listening to me. I just didn't see your headphones because you're not wearing your big old honking ones. Yeah, they ran out of battery. You took a picture of a field of wheat? It's grainy? <laughs> My brain is just getting more and more sloppy as I get over this shit. Can I get a wheatness? <laughs> I need more of my mimosa. I need... Okay. All right. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. I have a discussion at 9.30 and a meeting after church at 12.15. And then my husband may have band practice. Do you have band practice on Sunday? Did they schedule it? Band practice on Sunday. Huh? Band practice. Is there band practice on Sunday? Yes. Okay. I'm going to use this square. And I lied. I'm going to use this circle. This scallop. Heart attack weeding to happen. <laughs> okay. I'm going to use this circle because I don't want to pull that little note again. That little note's just so tiny. It doesn't even look like what it should be. So, all right, clean this off. That's for, that's for music practice, for Jesse's rehearsal. And then I gotta put my church shit. What am I gonna do for church shit? I don't have a shit. Do I have a shit stamp? I might have a shit stamp. It's actually, I think I might have a poop stamp. If I have a poop stamp, we'll use that. <gasps> I do have a poop stamp. Weeding on the world to change. Weeding on the world to change. <laughs> okay, here's a poop stamp. And I need something else. I need a, I need a, a something. I need a something.
I'm not this creative. I'm not creative to understand what I should be doing with these fucking stamps. I'm just saying. Not that creative. I'm just gonna take this little short banner and then put the poop on top of it. Billie Jean is not my weeder. <laughs> Sounds like I said wiener. Billie Jean is not my wiener. Not sure if that's appropriate or not. I guess if it's, you're not sure it's appropriate, it's probably not. I guess is the is the um, okay. Here, we'll do this. This one, this big old like roly poly boy right here. This one is the one we're gonna take. This little happy boy. And we'll go with a light color. We'll go with. Old Rose, we're bringing back Old Rose. I showed you my wheat, please respond. <laughs> old wheat, sorry, old wheat. Right there. You guys got me, you got me good. I'm normally, Stu and my kids are not in the chat right now though, they're probably not in the mood for it right now. But um, they love puns. They appreciate them so much more than I do. My kids are deep pun appreciators. All right, so we got the little poo here. So I'm going to take the poo, and I'm going to make the poo in a dark color. I'm going to use blossom red for this little poops. And that'll represent church shit, because that's what's going to be all the stuff that's written under here. And then now that I've got the little poop, I'm actually going to poop it again. That's not right. I need more color. I'm gonna do three poops. I'm gonna I'm gonna do triple poop. Fuck. Oh, I'm staining my desk with old poop. It's not really something I wanna be saying. Okay, guys, 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 I need a second here. Guys, did you see the trailer for the remake, the completely unnecessary remake of Child's Play? Like, un- Necessary remake. The original creator of Child's Play, John Mancini, is still making Child's Play movies and is making a TV show. Curse of, or Cult of Chucky was the most recent one. He's still making them with Brad Dourif, and they're doing a remake because the studio that owns the rights to the original movie wants to make more money off of it. So they're making a remake without the original creator of Brad Dourif for no apparent reason. It's some bullshit. Some bullshit. Some Bullshit. Shit. I just I said to zoom in to show you the BS. All right. Um, so I have 9.30. And then 12.15. And then here we'll put my husband's band practice. And so now we have room. It's time for the wheat. All right, here we go. Let's get a big wheat-sized stamp block. Hi, Polo. Okay, there's the wheat. Shit, I, I want it to go the other way. I want it to be this way. I hate that. It's brood. Oh well, it's okay. All we are is wheat in the wind. Wheat in the wind. Okay, I'm gonna put the paper down so the wheat can't like completely go into the shredded wheat, Aaron Condren. And we're gonna go with a light colored wheat and then we're gonna layer a dark colored wheat on top of the light colored wheat. So we're gonna start with this light colored wheat. We're gonna be artistic with the wheat. And then we'll add in a little bit of purple to the wheat. We'll 
little frost to the wheat chips, a little 2005 Kelly Clarkson wheat hairdo. All right, here we go. This is gonna be a problem if I miss. If I like slip, if there's a slip of the hand, we're gonna not be happy here. Close enough. All right, so there's some wheat, but now we need to add some more wheat because that's not enough. People put wheat on their planners. We need to, this is trendy. This is what people are doing. And we need to, we need to be part of the trend. We need to be part of the wheat. <laughs> Thank you, Polo, for the wheat. All right. Here we go. I'm going to weed it right here. Just weed it. Weed it. No one wants to be repeated. There's some more wheat. What's the big thing with the wheat? Uh... <laughs> Cheryl, I've been um, haunted lately by people who put like really stage pictures on Instagram. And I've even seen it in some YouTube videos where they like put actual wheat on their pic on their planner. And sometimes they wrap their planner in fairy lights and then put wheat on their planner. And it's really bothering me. So I'm, I'm as I usually get when I'm bothered by something, I, I put it on my planner just to be salty. So... That's why there's wheat. That's why I care about wheat because I am haunted by wheat. Not everybody else. Some people are like, they're not even seeing it, but I see it everywhere, constantly, everywhere. So, and I'm gonna add some distress ink to really like purple this up. This is the final wheat. It's the final wheat down. New, 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 new. The final wheat down. Yeah, look at that. Perspective. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And now I'm gonna take a little bit more of what's left and put it right here. This might be the end of this plan with me. I think I actually, this is a beautiful spread. This doesn't look quite, okay, so that was my goal. My goal was not to completely fuck up my planner. If you go back and watch some of my old, when I did an old live plan with me where I stamped, my planner was a fucking wreck. Like I couldn't use it for the next week. But I'm doing plan as you go. I need, and as you can tell, my week is fucking packed. I needed my planner this next week. So I needed it to be at least somewhat usable. And I feel like this is somewhat usable. So, so I feel like, I feel like, uh, Cynthia, yeah, I'm also a Cynthia Ann. Yep. I'm all, but my is an Ann with an E. I don't, okay, guys, I'm, I have a um, confession to make. I've never heard that Baby Shark song. I don't know what it even sounds like. I don't even know what the tune of it is. I have managed to avoid the Baby Shark. So, the weed of the moment. It's the weed of the moment. I know that song. No, don't send it to me. You don't need to. It's fine. From everything I've heard, that's not something I ever need to hear. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for joining me with this live plan with me. For those of you guys who sent super chats, I really appreciate you. And I really appreciate all of you for being here, especially considering we had so many technical difficulties at the beginning. Before you take off, will you please leave a like? Because there's always a couple of motherfuckers who got to leave me a couple. Di there's always, it's like the same. I swear it's got to be the same two people who leave dislikes at the beginning of my fucking plan with me is my live ones. So to stroke my ego, I never ask for a like on my videos, but I do ask in my lives because... 
it sucks to see dislikes happening while you're actually live. So I make the request to leave me a thumbs up because that would be lovely. Other than that, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your afternoon or whatever time it is where you're at and watch plan as you go this week because I got to use this planner this week. So you're going to be seeing this show up again every fucking day this week, every day.